This is a Radio Duty GD55+. Plus. It's a UHF DMR radio. They say it's waterproof. We're going to find out. This time on K6UDA Radio. I'm just starting out with the DMR. And today we're going to see what they're all about. This one's not even on the market yet, so you can't buy this one just yet. This one looks pretty cool. It says waterproof. I love to swim, so this might be good at the lake. But I might need a little help with these, setting them up. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> I knew you'd be here for me. <laughs> Thanks for having me on your show, Wendy. You're welcome. <laughs> so, I need some help with setting these up. Can you help me? I might be able to help you. Okay, very good. Um, what do we have? Radio, radio, diddy, radio, diddy. Radio something. Okay, you know what? These guys called me. They asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing these uh, these two radios, and I. I don't even know what to call them. Radio Oddity, Radio Diddy. DMR. DMR. <laughs> this is the, the uh, GD55 Plus. Uh, this is kind of a reworked version of, uh, of the, G, the GD55 that I guess has been out for a little while. This one is a brand new GD 77. Now this guy hasn't really even hit the market yet, and but you got your hands on them. I got my hands on <laughs> one here. What I do like about this is it's dual band, and out here in uh, Northern California six land, we have a thing called pave pause, which is all but shut down the entire 440 band for repeaters. So. There are almost no 440 repeaters out here. Everything is run on two meters and 440 is pretty much dead out here. I know, you know, that I know, that I hate unboxing videos. <laughs> they are freaking boring as hell. Stretched out. But I'm going to do a little unboxing video here. Um, this is the Radio Diddy GD55 Plus, UHF, uh, I think this is a 10 watt radio. Yeah, this is a 10 watt radio. Well, let's take a look inside. What have we here? Oh! <laughs> Yay! That's my unboxing video. That's how you do it. Let's see what we got here. We got uh, an antenna. User's manual. Whole other antenna flew off the back. Sure. Two antennas, so we nice. got we got us uh, a DMR radio here. This is, this is sturdy. This is nice, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah, I like it's... that. That's you know that this is the one thing that I really like about um, about the DMR radios. They're commercial radios and. And as commercial radios, they're pretty much built yes. a lot better or, or a lot more substantial feeling than, than the standard hand radi ham radios. Yeah, this one's supposed to be waterproof. I don't think I'll take it scuba diving with me. <laughs> but, but you could. Well, I don't know. Okay, um, it's got one, you know, one of these nice long antennas, which I won't use. Uh, it's got the stubby little antenna that'll work just fine with my uh, with my open spot here. Um, seeing as that there are no DMR repeaters anywhere in the area around here that that I can hit with a handheld. It's got one of these funny little um, proprietary programming cables that's pretty much exactly like the TYT over there. Um, Hook up to your computer. Yeah, you're gonna take this off here and screw this guy gotcha. in. It has its, uh, it has a charging base and a cable there. 
So it, um, that would plug in there. And you can open it back here. And pull the battery off. And pull the battery off. Ta-da! Oh, look at that. Okay, so what's this battery? Woo! Woo I'm gonna show, I'm gonna sport the, uh, sport the, uh, the glasses. 28, 2800 milliamp battery. That's a big battery. That is good. 7.8 volt, 2800 milliamp polymer lithium ion. Fancy words. Yeah, fancy, <laughs> fancy, fancy. Fancy schmancy. Uh, let's see, this is IP67 waterproof. Caution, no disassembling. Underwater. <laughs> Underwater. 10 watts. Uh, this is UHF only, 400 through 470. And I do not see an FCC sticker on here. I don't see an FCC sticker, but it goes on there pretty nice. Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, now we just need to try and program it. Yeah, and, let's and program it up. Get it all hooked up. Let's program it. Let's go. We we got it programmed. Okay. Kind of. I, I built built a small code plug for this thing. Uh, I mean, what it is. How the, easy was it? The, okay, the uh, the software on this thing, I mean, as, as you saw, yeah. is not intuitive at all. Right. The software uh, for the for the Radio Diddy guys, um, please, you guys need to to make this software a little more user friendly, um, a little more positive. It needs to have a place to import. Um, data all the information uh, to yeah to For import new parts like me, of it was okay. import and me too i mean come on i mean we're not uh, we're not radio programmers and if it's going to be a little yeah. more difficult than and I'll, I'll tell you honestly with a radio that is so dependent on getting uh, on having software that you have to have the software to program it and without it, this thing is a brick. It's worthless. You can't, you, there is no way to program this thing from the keypad. Right on the radio itself. You have yeah. to have the software. I mean, And to navigate have, through it, it was pretty complicated. It, it was. I mean, it was, it was a bitch. <laughs> the, uh, the radio quality, I like. Pretty sturdy, yeah. It's, it, it's a pretty sturdy radio, waterproof. I'm wondering if we should test that waterproof thing. <laughs> I think. I think we maybe should. Maybe we should. Yeah. I think maybe we should. It says it right here. It even has the picture. It's in the water. It says it's waterproof. Let's go through the radio. The thing has several programming buttons, um, and and I really didn't even get into programming all the buttons. It does. I the uh, there's two arrow keys on the uh, on the radio to navigate up and down they're navigating these na are navigating right now mm -hmm. uh between the channels okay in the one talk group or the one zone that i have which is another thing the difference between in the programming software the terminology between the bofang people radio diddy and uh, and TYT is immense. TYT was fairly user friendly. It was pretty self explanatory. This, uh, it was this was a struggle to get this one just a simple code plug programmed up uh, yeah, it was, for um, the open spot. The terminology with this radio versus the other radio, it was different. The same word, but meant two different things. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I mean, zones in Radio Diddy land are channels. And and in TYT land, zones made sense because you had several zones. I, I programmed up, uh, say, uh, the Shark RF zone. 
uh, California repeater zone, um, different repeaters around here. Uh, I programmed up those as zones and each zone had several channels in it. This seems to be more like the channels and the zones are there, but everything is buried and there's no good explanation in the software. So <laughs> it would be very, very nice to have a better explanation in the software to help a new user like me and you mm -hmm. navigate through all this. Good quality audio. I would say that's good quality audio. Nice and clear. Yeah. It is a lot better. It sounds a lot better than your your standard Bofang, even though this is the Bofang company. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same company. Wendy is a D Star user like me. We've both been using D Star for. Well, I've been using it for several years. She's been using it for a couple of years. A little bit. <laughs> Still new. But you know how to use it. I do. It's user-friendly for me as a D-Star user and a new ham radio operator as well. Mm -hmm. what, I, what I don't like, the, the two biggest things that I'm, that I'm not thrilled with is being able to enter a frequency in. Because really, if... If a group of us go somewhere, anywhere, and we take radios with us like this, it's nice to be able to punch in a frequency and and everybody just punch in the same frequency, put it on put it on DMR, put it on digital, and we are talking, and it's pretty much like a a private radio group. Pretty much program and go. Yeah. With, with a D star. Yeah. Yep. I've got a waterproof GD55 radio. That's what it says. This thing is nice and loud. Yeah, you got to do a little bit of celebration at least. That was something. Still going. <laughs> it's like a Timex. It keeps on ticking. That's right. <laughs> it is working. Okay, guys. So uh, I guess this it thing. I guess it is waterproof. Just like the box. Cool. Is. So you know what? You could take this to the lake. Yeah. Don't have to worry about dropping it in the water. You don't have to worry about dropping it in the water if you if take it, it four wheel in. Or <laughs> if it sinks, it's gone. <laughs> Woo! At least you'll hear it under the water, yeah. right? Yeah, you might hear it. <laughs> it's not too deep. I know. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so. Or. Deep sea diving. Yeah. yeah. So here's what's weird is it's all muffled right now. Yes. And now we're talking. And nobody's talking now. So you just shake the water off the speaker, then you So let's just shake the water off. All right. That's it. This is the Radio Diddy. Radio oddity? Radio oddity. Ra radio oddity. Why is the D red? I don't know. Hmm. We'll have to figure that out. <laughs> I don't know. It's the Radio Diddy GD55 Plus. Um, waterproof UHF DMR radio. About a hundred bucks. Pretty affordable. That's that. It's a cheap way. Yeah. I'll tell you what. If you're a if you're a tech, you're on a budget. You don't want to spend a lot of money. You want to try out Just digital out. radio. Yep. This is a great way to try out digital radio, and gotta love that being able to do it underwater. Exactly. <laughs> um, and it, yeah. Hey, sounds good after it comes out of the water. Yep. All right, guys. As always. Uh, if you like this video, give us the thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. Do you know how close we're getting to uh, so 7,500? How many so far? Uh, it is about 7,100 right now. So another 400 guys. Come on, and, uh, and I'm giving away the Chameleon P-Loop antenna, and I'm giving away an open spot 
to one of my patrons. And I actually, I picked up two patrons. You did? Yeah. Very you know nice. what? Guy said, hey, here's a buck. Yeah. Well, you know what? Thank you. I, I, I want to thank you guys <laughs> that are my patrons a lot. The, the, uh, the fact that you are willing to dish out your money and support me is worth more than the money you're supporting me with. You're so worth it, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> so worth it. <laughs> you see that? I'm worth it. Exactly. All right, guys. So anyway, um, that's it for us. I'm Bob, K6UDA. And I'm Wendy, KK6HSK. We're out of here. 7-3. 23s.